Pascal Chef Online. Okay, I'm Chef Ken. Today I'm going to show you the mean mix pie. So for the first thing, for the mean mix pie, you need to prepare for the sweet pastry. So for this recipe, sweet pastry, very simple. We're using rugged method. So what is rugged method? Always for the rugged method, get for the butter. Butter always just keep inside for the chiller, for the chill temperature, for the cool temperature on here. And get all the dry ingredients inside. So example like salt, icing sugar, and for the cake flour. Use for the paddle, make it become sandy texture. Okay, of course, you can use for a paddle or you can use your hand. Okay, just keep grab it. Okay, until it become like the fat and the dry ingredient both mix well together. So you can see on the so you can see on the camera on here. So always rugged method. Normally, uh, in our pastry, right, it's most common have two method. One is this we call rugged method. Second, we call creamy method. Okay. Normally, most of the creamy method, you need to incorporate more air inside the mixture or the dough. So inside, you incorporate a lot of air when you baking that time. The texture come out will be more sandy texture. Okay. So you want like the texture is more crunchy, okay, more solid. So normally I will choosing for rugged in method on here. Always remember for the rugged method for your fat content, okay. Always just keep inside the cool temperature. So they can more easy to mix well with the dry ingredient. So you can see. No sound. So you like a sand, you can see on here. Feel very fine after mix well, the fat. Because just now mm -hmm. the, they said they cannot hear the the speaker, the sound, the sound. Ah okay. Like two echo, not clear. You remove that, so you will speak to this. So you unmute. Huh? Yeah. Are still doing this, Henry? No. We use. You have to speak through here. Ah, okay. Have to speak louder lah. Ah, uh, okay. But don't have uh, what do? Don't have this one. Okay, it's okay. I can speak like this. Okay, for both sides. Okay, try again. Okay. Maybe you can explain a bit more. Okay, ah, uh, Vincent. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, ah, uh, for the te for the technical part. Okay. So I explain one more time. Okay, for normally in our pastry, okay, we normally use it for two method. Okay, for the first method we are using, okay, normally is rugged method. Okay, normally rugged method is use something like a dough. Okay, dough, cookie dough, okay, sable, sweet pastry, all this kind of a thing. Normally we are using a rugged method. So after if you using rugged method, that's mean we no need fluffy our butter, no need fluffy our fat content. So after come out the taste, we will become crunchy and more solid. Okay, this is after after baking. Okay, so if you're using for the creamy method, to come out because incorporate more air content inside for the mixture. So inside have a lot of small bubble when you baking that time. So this small bubble in between each other, the texture like a sponge. Okay, so the come out the texture will become more sandy texture. Example like butter cookie. 
okay sponge your butter cake okay that's why when you cut through on the slices you can see a lot of small bubble inside incorporate more air inside for now for this mat for this recipe sweet pastry i are using rock in method so rock in method is quite easy i explain one more time this normally get your fat but make sure your fat is maintained inside a cool temperature that's mean you need to put inside for the chiller at the chiller temperature okay so after get your fat then all dry ingredient all dry ingredient can be flour cinnamon powder salt sugar icing sugar everything all dry ingredient then mix well with the flour first uh, so mix well with the butter first okay so you can see on the camera here you can see a little bit yellow color you can see the fat and the dry ingredient that mix well very nice on here and the mixture on here is still cold okay because of the fat you keep inside for the chiller if you without put the butter inside the chiller you have a problem if when you mix the dry ingredient and the fat and your fat is room temperature everything will become a dough okay so uh, we don't using for that first because you haven't add the liquid part on the right method now um, butter needs to be cold or room temperature ah uh, cold temperature okay so chiller temperature fridge temperature we're using okay so just mix well and mix well and make sure when and make sure when you guys put your butter inside if possible get your butter in a small chunk cut to the small chunk and cold temperature fresh temperature okay after everything done you can see the come out a little bit sandy texture now get all your liquid part example like eggs water anything just mix it right inside and make it become a dough Once become a dough, you can check on the camera here. Just immediately stop it. Okay? Why we need to immediately stop it? Because this is sweet pastry. Okay? We are using for the cake flour. We don't want to create too much of the gluten inside. Okay? If you create more gluten inside, okay? Example, now you make any liquid part, you put bit more longer time so they'll form the gluten when you form the gluten of, of your pie or tart you bake inside for the oven they will shrink a lot okay like the bread why the bread after you baking they'll shrink a little bit okay so because they have a lot of gluten inside okay and of course when we're choosing our flour we're also using for the cake flour that means the protein is quite low okay so normally if you want to man, uh, you want to check for the protein for the cake flour normally in our pastry we're using three of the flour okay first is cake flour okay cake flour normally contain the protein around seven percent to nine percent protein okay so if you go to all purpose flour okay all purpose flour normally is around like 9.5 percent to 10.5 percent for the protein okay if you go into the bread flour normally it's 11 percent to 13 percent okay for the protein okay so that's mean if your flour okay if contain more more uh, more protein you create more gluten inside so that's why normally if you're using for the cake flour you want to get the sponge you want the soft texture normally i will choose the protein lesser okay around like seven to eight percent okay if you guys want to check for the percentage very easy when you go buy some all the dry ingredient the flour okay just see on the back on the packaging they have right down on there example like 100 gram have content how many uh, how many protein inside so that have the protein is around like nine to eight percent okay
So when I'm using for the roll for the dough, always I'm using for the double parchment. So more easy. Sometimes when you guys making the recipe is too big amount, like example like this sweet pastry, actually you can get just like this. Wrap with a plastic wrap keep inside for the freezer. You can keep for one month. So whatever time you want to use it, just take out, put inside the chiller to defrost. Then you can any time to roll it and continue use it. Okay. So now flatten the dough. We need, to, we need to roll this dough to 3 mm. Remember, I am, uh, uh, when I'm doing for the water, I forgot. Okay, it's okay. Because of this recipe, if you see the recipe, actually our butter is a lot. Our butter is a lot and our dry ingredient is not a lot. So like this, this uh, dough is a little bit difficult to handle. But after taste, okay, after baking, this dough will become more crunchy because this has contained more fat inside. Of course, if you want the dough, it's very easy to handle. They will put a lot of flour inside. So after come up, your texture come up is a little bit dry. It won't be crunchy. Okay, you when it tastes it's more uh, tastes like the flour. Okay, it tastes like the flour. So it's depend on you. If you want the dough, it's easy to handle. The fat is very less, but after taste won't be too nice. Okay, but if you want to taste nicer, I will suggest you put more fat inside the dough here. Example like this dough. But it's difficult to handle. Sometimes we need a a con to maintain the butter won't let the butter easy to melt. But if you feel you difficult to uh, in the aircon room working, just go find some tray or the chopping board, freeze inside the chiller or the fridge. Get the chopping board, put inside for the freezer, freeze it overnight. After that, just put the chopping board under the tray and just throw on the tray. So easy, more easy for you to handle. Okay. So just like that, 3 mm. After 3 mm, uh, you guys can put inside for the chiller. Let him cool down. Okay, let him around like 10 to 15 minutes to let the gluten to rest and let the chill, let the temperature to cool down. But for this, after I done, I will put inside for the freezer because it's a shorter time. I need to use it immediately, so that's why I put inside the freezer. Of course, if you feel your kitchen is a little bit warm, you also can keep inside for the freezer. It's more up to you. So now we need to do it for the mini mix filling now. Uh, 
here, okay, traditional for the meat meat, traditional for the meat meat fillet, okay, normally they're not using for the butter, they're using for the beef sweet, okay, if you're using for the beef sweet, uh, maybe uh, it's, it, it's easy to find, but in modern way, now it's going to modern way, so I would suggest you guys, you guys can change to the butter, sometimes they use for the beef sweet, or they're using for the lamb, Sweet. So it depends on you guys and very very traditional meat meats inside they put some uh, meat inside example like the ox, the beef okay the ox tongue all this kind of the yeah they in traditional they use the ox the ox tongue inside so they chop in it inside like a dice and put inside for now more modern way normally we all just using for the dry fruit. For the for the brownies, it's the for sugar, okay? It's different, okay? Because in the brownies, there they have a lot of the moisture inside. They normally the crunch, the surface, the top is the sugar is caramelized on the top already, okay? So if actually if you want for the brownies, right? Okay, actually it's quite a lot of sugar inside because if you don't have a lot of sugar, you cannot get the surface. They have a uh, crunchy on the top, okay? All spice, mixed spice also. Okay. Later I I show you guys. Okay. So now prepare some golden raisin. Actually, if you want to do the min mix time, okay. This I this item you guys can soak with the alcohol at least around like half year. That means six months. Okay. The let the alcohol uh, infuse inside all the dry fruit. Okay. But now I show you guys how to making for the filling first and how you guys using for the alcohol to soak it. So we need to prepare for the golden raisin on here. So you can prepare for the dry nut edge here. I'm using for the dry apricot. Okay, so cut it for the dry apricot. Of course, you can do, don't use a dry apricot. You can use for the like orange peel. Also can, the candy orange peel, easy for you. So, cut all the dry fruit. I will cut the apricot now to dice. So, butter on here. Brown sugar, if you guys want the taste is more stronger, you can use half of the brown sugar, half of the molasses sugar on here. So, almond nibs, okay, toast the almond nibs on here. So, just toasting almond nibs, very easy, 160 until the color becomes golden brown. So, now for the apple. Uh, on here you can use uh, if you want the taste is a little bit sour you can use a green apple but here I'm using for a green apple I like the green apple taste <coughs> so for the red apple we also need to cut the dice on here Uh, of course, you guys just use the peeler, okay? Easy for you. So on here, just cut, dice. Feeling apple so fast with knife is cool to watch. <laughs> yeah, for this you need to every day practice. Last time in I'm hotel, every day I need to slice for two boxes.
So make sure dice the apple. For this, actually, the trail life quite long. Huh? Same like the uh, cake fruit. Okay, the fruit cake, I'm sorry. Okay, same like the fruit cake. Normally, if uh, we prepare for the Christmas item, normally we will prepare for uh, before like a month, a two year, let the alcohol all infused inside for the uh, dry fruit. Like last time when I learned from a master chef from Japan, okay, they are using for the fruit, they have a different alcohol for the different fruit, dry fruit. Of course can, but make sure you don't become a juice come up. Okay. how I uh, soak inside the alcohol now. the dry apricot, golden raisin, all your apples, almond leaves, butter, brown sugar, And don't forget one orange, okay, zest with the all uh, with the juice and the lemon zest and with the juice. Make sure you guys wash the orange and the lemon zest before you use. After wash, dry it. Make sure when you guys peel the orange zest or lemon zest, the white color part, just don't peel it, okay? Because this is very bitter. And the small tips for you guys, I believe a lot of a person when you guys eating for the orange and the lemon, okay? You guys normally uh, won't using for the zest, okay? So all the zest you can zest out, just like that. Put inside for the container and keep inside for the freezer. So like that, you guys can keep for one year inside the freezer. When every, uh, anything you guys want orange flavor or lemon flavor, just get the zest inside the freezer. Just take out and just use it. But when you guys using the fresh orange zest or fresh lime zest, lemon zest, when you're using for the quantity, please use for double. That's been example. My recipe, my orange zest, I need use for one gram. If you're using for the frozen orange zest, then you guys need to use for two gram, okay? Because the flavor will lost a little bit, okay, inside the freezer. So on here, for your orange, you need to use for the orange juice. Uh, want to squeeze out your orange before that, please get the orange, just use your hand, 
press just like this okay just press like this so when you squeeze out your orange it's more easy for you same with the lemon or lime okay when you want to squeeze out a juice okay before that before cut just press like this So for the orange juice, lemon juice, or put inside. So now you can start on the temperature now. So use for the lower heat or the medium heat. Let everything melt together. Ah, it's okay. I will update the ingredient list on that. Sorry, huh? Chef, won't heating orange juice or lemon mm -hmm. juice mix the... Won't heating the orange juice mm -hmm. or lemon juice mm -hmm. make the mixture bitter? Ah, don't worry. The, the orange or lemon... Uh, orange and lemon, okay? The bitter taste is come from the skin. Okay, so the white color part, the skin, so he won't be go going to a bitter because normally orange juice and lemon juice that come out the juice normally is sweet and acidic, just these two flavor only. Okay, if you want to get the orange flavor, okay, it's from a zest. If you want to get the very, very bitter flavor, normally it's using by a, a peel, the peel on that. So normally, if you go to the, they have an orange orange peel snack okay in france okay normally they are used for the orange boil for the orange 10 times after that they will cut it and dry it okay this one i in the future in the upcast for night in the future i can do it okay i will show inside on that how you guys making from something like orange peel okay orange candy peel So normally when we're using for the orange and lemon, we wouldn't like waste all this item, okay? Normally all the items we also can use properly, okay? Become a one item, one dessert, one candy. Okay, so everything done. So increase the heat, let him boiling. So this one you want to uh, let him boil around like five to 10 minutes, okay? So depend your volume until you can see the mixture totally dry, a little bit dry on here. Can any other juice other than orange or lemon to be used in the mix? Uh, I will prefer this too. I prefer this too, okay? Because if, of course, if you want to choose some another juice, okay, I would, I would, you can try using for the citrus fruit family. Okay, you go Google type citrus fruit family so you can see all the citrus fruit you can using. Okay, but of course you don't use something like berry. Okay, it will taste uh, a little bit special later. Yeah. Okay. Susan is allergic to citrus fruit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's allergic to citrus. So uh. Can skip. <laughs> Apple juice, grape juice. Ah, of course you can use apple. Actually, apple juice also have a citrus inside. 
Uh, yes, it is. Huh? Apple juice. <laughs> hmm. you, you can use apple, of course, you can use apple juice inside, up to you. Chef, can hmm? we make a citrus extract by infusing vodka with the zest instead of freezing it? For? You know the skin, the orange mm. and lemon skin, can mm -hmm. you say? Them and then freeze it, right? Mm -hmm. So, can we ask if the citrus extract by infusing vodka yes. with the zest? Yes, yeah. of course, yeah. So, the amount still the same? You, you, you mean you want to put for the vodka, uh, the vodka they will put the orange juice, the orange, orange zest. zest inside, right? Yes, I think it's actually it's depend your flavor. If like 100 ml vodka, you can just like put half of the orange zest, is enough. Depend how long you infuse, actually, this one. Can we use canned orange juice? Can what's your meaning is canned orange juice? Is a candy orange juice or can you know the Oh that's mean in, in inside the packaging one. Ah can ah uh, but that one actually they have put more sugar inside. Uh. Uh, at least you find it's really pure orange juice. Uh. Of course, you can use that one, but normally they extra put more sugar inside. So if you want to really you want to using that one, then please cut down for your sugar. Okay, so we need to cook and just simmer. Okay, some and just stir a little bit on the bottom. Make sure the bottom is not burnt. Until the mixture, you can check on here, a little bit start dry. Let the moisture more evaporate on here. So you can check on here, the mixture. Okay, you can see for the liquid part, they will, for the liquid part, it's quite less already. Okay, around like five to 10 minutes. So depend your volume and 
Now for this step, okay, make sure before you soak with the alcohol, this make this filling make sure it's fully cooled down. That means it's fully room temperature or the fridge temperature. Okay, if now when the filling is still hot, when you guys add the alcohol inside to soak inside together, so this is very easy to spoil because you want to imagine this filling after I soak with the alcohol, I need to keep inside for the fridge, I can keep for six months. Okay, if you keep for six months, if you didn't uh, take care of this process, this is very easy to get the mold inside the dry fruit. Okay, so you, need, you guys need to take care of this. So, in because now it's a shorter time, so I need to show you guys straight away how to do it. So make sure you guys just process this one, it fully cool down. Okay? Let him fully cool down the temperature, become room temperature or the fridge temperature. Get your brandy or rum, okay? Or just put inside. Just mix right everything. After that, I will prefer you guys, okay, get a glass jar, a tight glass jar. This fully cooled down, put everything, okay. Actually, it's cooled down already, okay, because I need to show you guys, okay. So, cool down this item, put inside the a tight glass jar. After that, a tight it and keep inside for the fridge. So, you can keep for six months, up to six months. After that, every time when you want to use it, just take out, okay, because let all the alcohol soak inside for the dry fruit. Okay, now we can start for lining our touch shell. Chef, if you don't put alcohol, we can skip. Yes, you can. You, you can skip if you guys don't use alcohol. Okay, if you guys don't use alcohol, just use a sugar syrup like that and put inside. Okay, but I can let you know the taste will be a little bit sweetness okay because alcohol is not give you uh, I'm sorry to say it's not give you for drum on our pastry it give you an aroma and another flavor inside to infuse the thing okay actually after bake after bake the thing inside for the freezer you won't taste uh, too strong alcohol because that item the alcohol you evaporate when you baking time actually you just get the aroma and the flavor inside the thing okay and the alcohol also can reduce your sweetness, okay? But of course, I know, understand some people is Muslim, so you can just skip about alcohol that step and just straight away use for that feeling, okay? How about the shark life without the alcohol? If for the shark life without alcohol, I just can say around like one month, they will start getting more, okay? But make sure it depends how you guys keep, okay? Keep inside for the chiller around like one to two months, I believe it's okay because there are high content sugar inside. Okay, when very simple, when a person when you guys doing something uh, uh the thin food, the canned food, the canned food inside normally why they can shell up for one year to two years because they contain a lot of sugar. When the sugar and the fat content, okay, if more that means the fruit the shell up can be more longer. Okay, of course if you see to the culinary, then you need to remove the moisture. Okay, so you need to depend how you storage the thing also. So now, I just use it for this kind of the cut mold. Okay, can you pick up this? Of course, you can use any mold what you want, up to you. Even the market, market mold also can, up to you guys. Just spray some oil. Okay, if you, uh, if you difficult to find the spray oil, just get the normal vegetable oil. Use for the tissue, just brush it. Okay, up to you. So, get for the sugar dough. 
Okay, make sure you need to armor the parchment before you use. Okay, remove the parchment first. I will get take around more than one more cm. Normally, if I see for this on here, around like uh, around like two cm to one finger. Okay, just like that for the mold. And of course, you need to depend. You don't get the mold is like slightly like this higher for my this mold. Okay. Uh, for one second. Okay. So. My this mode is around like 15 cm and for the height is 2.5 cm. So I move this one, just the wrong. I need to maintain this item shield, okay, because it's a little easy for you, okay? So get the dough on here, soft a little bit on your hand, so lay more flexible on here. So you will worry about your temperature, okay? So you guys can just use for the frozen tray or the frozen chopping board. So I hear a little bit crack, doesn't matter, later I will seal a little bit. Okay, after soft everything, just put inside the mold first. So, press the bottom, the side, this very bottom. The bottom and the side corner. So sometimes you guys, uh, maybe your hand is difficult to make for the corner, you guys can do it like this. Get a, some of the leftover dough on the side. Uh, cream from cheese. So get for the cream from and some leftover dough. Just put inside like that. After that, just remove, cut off everything. Chef, is there any mm. recipe for Christmas food? Mm. Christmas fruit mix. What is Christmas fruit mix? <laughs> mix fruit? You want fruit cake? Fruit cake, I think Chef Lim may do, do before, do right?
So at here, you can see for the fruit, all this fruit after infused, this is uh, before one week I do it, okay? So after done already, all, all this of the fruit sift with the sieve, okay? Sift out all the juice and just get all the dry fruit, okay? Just put inside. Make sure you remove all the liquid. So, same like just now, cut it, cut the dough. All this dough, the leftover, combine again, make it become a dough. After that, uh, low it then keep back in the freezer. So before that, I use for the Christmas tree, put on the center and cut it. Follow the lining. Just go clean the uh, Christmas sensor, the Christmas tree sensor. Anything. Up to you guys for the stencil. Hi Chef, did you add spices like nutmeg or cinnamon just now when preparing the dry fruit mix? Uh, yes, I, <laughs> let, I should be add inside later. I can add inside before that, okay? For this, I already add. Later, I will show you guys for that. Sorry, huh? I almost forgot for that because that one is for by pinch. Add, add all the spices, add all the spices uh, we, for infused, okay? Add all the spices, mix well, and you can keep inside the air tight and keep inside for the fridge. I mean proportion of alcohol and spices to 1 kg of fruits. Sorry? Okay, for the cutter, round cutter, cut for different sizes. You can check the uh, Facebook inside, have the recipe inside. So, 
very simple uh, for the you total all the dry fruit after total all the dry fruit already you see how much is example like that total all the dry fruit is around like 400 gram so you can just times uh, double. Uh, double the recipe you can get the answer uh, hi chef is yes. it Add spice before cooking the rum? Uh, all, all the time when you can add the spice, okay? Inside cooking or before the rum, it won't be effect, so you don't worry. Okay, the rum won't be if uh, the spices won't effect, you can add any time. Okay, later I'll add the spices inside. Can we follow the same method for soaking the fruit cake? Mm, can, but this have bought uh, because this we're using for the butter for the fruit cake we are not using for any fat content inside okay but this we are using for the fat so make sure you guys need to uh, boil the fat first okay a little bit different of course you can use for the fruit cake that one to do but after you boil Okay, after you use a fruit cake mixture, after you infuse with alcohol, you boil again, you lost a lot of the alcohol when you soak in. So normally, what I do, I will boil everything, cool down, then I soak with the alcohol. So you still maintain your alcohol taste inside. Okay? So soak a little bit. I would prefer you guys when you guys do any design on this mimis kind on the top, just give some hole, okay? Let the steam release, okay? If you don't really don't want to make a lot of uh, the stencil on the top on here, so after you get the sugar low, okay, make a pie already, make sure you use the fork and make some hole. Let the steam evaporate from the hole. If not, when you're baking that time, your sugar dough, they will crack because inside the pressure is too strong, the steam, they will evaporate, they will crack your shell. So just like that, press it. Uh, no need. No need. No need. Because on the top you have a. For if you're using for this one, you put the hole on the bottom. It's uh, not a lot of effect. Because on the top you have hole, then it's okay already. Okay. So just like this. So before we need to baking for this, I need for egg wash first. So get some egg wash, egg wash the surface, so just like that then we can keep inside for the oven to bake so i have a deep i have a two temperature on here the first temperature used for 150 celsius trigger out bake around half hour okay half hour that's been 30 minutes to 35 minutes 
Okay, so you need to depend your color. Okay, because this sugar dough you take some time. After that, after 150, 30 minutes to 35 minutes, change, increase the temperature, go to 170, let the surface golden brown. Okay, that just take you around 8 minutes to 10 minutes until when you see the surface golden brown, you can stop it. All the way just using for the trigger up. So let's go, we go with it now. Okay, so 150, 30 minutes. After that, make sure all the way just trigger out of this, okay? Because we don't need our sugar dough increase. So after 150 Celsius, half hour, after half hour, so increase the temperature, go to 170 Celsius on here. So at that time, just put for around 8 minutes to 10 minutes, okay? Check until the surface golden brown. Okay, so we can go back. So this is just now that one, what I cook, okay? Uh, on here right, actually, actually because my potion, I'm making for the potion, is very less inside the recipe. So if you guys want, okay, the recipe you can like, if I double up of this recipe, double up of the recipe, you can put up of the mixed spice, all spice, the same mixed spice, okay? Mix spice, you can put for quarter four teaspoon. Okay? For the cinnamon powder on here, of course, you guys can use for the cinnamon stick to infuse up to you guys. On here, I use for pinch, but if you guys double up of this recipe, you can use for the quarter one of the teaspoon also. The baking, is it pan mode on? Ah, pan mode on. So, for the nutmeg powder on here, for double up of the recipe also, quarter four of the teaspoon. My this recipe is half recipe, I make a small amount on here. So all the spice, don't worry, you can add any time, just mix well, it won't be effect you. Okay, because your spice just you feel so me. After that, I will continue. For my this mixture, I will use for the uh, for the this mixture. I will continue put inside. I can make it into small longer time. So I can do for the mince pie. I can use for the mince pie, or I can use for the fruit cake also. If you guys want to use this recipe for the fruit cake, also possible. But sip up all the water, and when you're baking for the fruit cake, make sure you get some flour, mix some dry fruit, mix inside, and bake in the fruit cake. Okay, because this is for them uh, fat inside. Okay. Where the thing Can we add spice? I'm sorry? Can we add spice when the fruit uh, is still warm? Okay, okay. The spice you can add any time. You can add when you're cooking, after cooking, when you feel so fat, up to you. So get some small powder. So for this, it's yesterday I baked. Okay. So remove out from the ring. Okay.
So just side that. So make sure all the colors should be golden brown color on here. Okay, all the colors should be golden brown. That's why why we need using for the low temperature to bake in this item. Okay, if you use it for a high temperature, so here will be gold, here will be the color will be even. Here will be more darker color, and on the center part also is still is a little bit white color. Okay, so to that, just like that, uh, I can trim it. Okay, there's a lot of okay. questions on. Okay. Come. Come, come. Come, I will answer your question first. Come. Chef, I got confused. Okay. Um, the mixture we add in the dough for mm -hmm. baking was not mixed with rum. So mixture? Sure. When we... Um, I think when you make the nine cut, right? Huh? And put the... The dry fruit. Okay. Because... Um, I think you need another oh, set, right? Okay. I show you guys what is. Because that feeling, what I show you guys that feeling, I already do for two weeks. So for one to two weeks, for that feeling, it's infused all the rum inside already. So for this batch, I just use in the fresh. I not suggest you guys picking now. If you picking now, the alcohol taste won't be very strong. So for me, I will keep this around after two weeks. I use this for another item. But I show you guys how to remove the liquid part. Okay. 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 Remove from all the this liquid. After remove all this liquid, let him dry. Okay. After that, get the filling and put inside for the touch shell and just bake just like that. Okay. Okay. If we are skipping the alcohol in the fruit mix, mm. should we increase the liquid like orange juice? Ah, uh, no need, no need. Fruit to soak up more. No need, no need, no need. Because when it uh increase, you do without the alcohol, no need to do anything. Just maintain the juice because after that, that I also need to remove out the liquid. Okay, it's not possible. I get a lot of the liquid big inside the oven. The dough won't be cold. Okay, so for infused alcohol, I just need an aroma. Okay, aroma inside. Not I want to get more liquid part inside. Okay. I remember one of Chef Angelo's mm. video mentioned that mm. uh, we cannot add cinnamon too early mm. during the cooking process. Yes, but that if you maintain a li very less liquid, but for me, you can see the liquid is a lot of here. So you don't worry, you won't be have effect. I could see two mixture. Mm. One is used in the dough and another one which you add all spice and cinnamon. Mm. Then, um, ah. Chef, we want to decorate with fresh real flowers on cake. What will be the next step? Please tell us. Okay, for the for the different dough, I explain one more time because a different dough because that I already infused for one week. So after one week, all the things start to burn already. Okay, infuse all the alcohol inside. That's why you guys can see a different color. It's not possible. I cook this one. I need you guys wait for one week and check how I do it for the dough. Okay, so that's why I just doing like that to let you guys see how you guys need to infuse the thing. Okay, so and uh, what fresh flower? Um, if we want to decorate with fresh real flowers on mm -hmm. a cake, what will be the next step? What oh, yeah. up step? to you. You can do any deco on the top, but normally for touch shell or for the pie, I don't think you need a lot of decoration on on the top part. Okay, because it's not possible. You want to add some. Of course, you can add some cream inside to eat. It's up to you. Okay, but traditional way is just like that. Okay, with the soup, with the process, everything. I can show you all the process in the next. Okay, so just like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I'll see you guys in next video.